I do not judge people by history. I judge people by their activities and their perspectives. I must tell you that justice must have a human face and human approach. Justice here, the scales of justice has to be balanced as far as possible. That is the true essence of justice. It cannot tilt in other, either side owing to anyone's aggressive views. The lady of justice is blindfolded to signify neutrality. Our judiciary, it has been the strongest institution standing firm and resolute on the face, the face of attacks, assaults and even in troubled times. Our judges are far ahead of their counterparts in other countries, shining with ability to resolve mind-boggling number of cases. I must frankly confess that in them indebted to the bar for their assistance at every level, and I go from here wholly satisfied. The contentment in me knows no bounds. Justice Deepak Mishra has displayed exemplary erudition and remarkable fortitude since his elevation to the bench in the year 1996. The speculation was rife throughout the day that he will be speaking perhaps on some of the more controversial aspects of his tenure, his 13-month tenure, which had its moment of very unprecedented controversies. In the morning, while rising up for the final time uh, in the courtroom number one, uh, Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra had said that I am currently speaking from my heart but in the evening I will be speaking from my mind. And that had led to speculation that he might be speaking about some of the controversies. However, uh, in the evening when he finally came to speak, he was in a more poetic mood. He quoted uh, William Blake, he quoted Socrates, he quoted William Shakespeare and he also quoted T.S. Eliot and, have, and in quoting Eliot he said that he was not old but in fact counted him among the young uh, lawyers of the country. I'm sure I'm going to miss him because every single time I appeared in his court I was made to feel welcome, I was made to feel respected and uh, I did appreciate and admire his extraordinary quality of, uh, how should I put it, he could elevate a uh, elevate a rather simple in issue into a profound one. He said that he leaves the court a very contented man. Very few people can say that they are contented and I appreciate that very much.